Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Exponential Functions, lesson number six, Exponential Modeling with Percent Growth and Decay, Home Review, Part 1. And so here we're going to be doing quite a bit of modeling um, and hopefully just using our formula that we normally use. Now, I know a lot of different formulas uh, that come out and different, basically the same formula written in just a number of different ways. And so we'll see in this case, just for interest, we'll be using the one with the rate. Uh, but before we start, I'll ask that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if it definitely helps you, definitely appreciate the like though. Okay? All right. So, number one, if $130 is invested in a savings account that earns 4% per year, which the following is close to the amount in the account at the end of 10 years? So, the formula we're going to use is going to be A of T, the, the amount after two years, times A of zero, our initial value, times one plus the rate raised to the one plus R, which is the rate raised to T power. And so we see in this case that we're looking for our A sub zero, which in uh, which the initial value would start off to be $130. It says here it's in, for hundred dollars invested in the savings account, our R value is going to be four percent, which as a decimal is equal to zero point zero four. And then we want to figure out what the value is going to be after ten years. So we have four percent interest per year, and after ten years, our T is equal to ten. And so we'll plug in, and really, it's A of ten, the amount after ten years, equals to one hundred and thirty times one plus. 0 0.04 raised to the 10th power. And so we're going to use our graphing calculator to find our value. So let's type into our calculator 130. And in this case, it was 1 plus. Point zero four, so point zero four. Oh, oops, so point zero four. Sorry about that. And we're going to raise it to the tenth power. And so the amount we're going to get is going to be one hundred ninety dollars and forty three cents. So one ninety two forty three. We'll write this down. And now we'll take a look at our choices. Well, the one that comes closest to this was what said we said in this case $192. And we said uh, 43 cents. Well, the one that comes close to this will be choice two. So we're just kind of plugging things, things into our formula to solve these problems. Number two, the population of 50 fruit flies is increasing at a rate of 6% per day. Which of the following is closest to the number of days it will take for a fruit fly population to double? Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll come up with our formula. Again, A of T is equal to A sub zero times one plus R raised to T power. And so we're saying in this case, well, we're starting with 50, 50 fruit flies, so A sub zero is 50. Our rate is going to be 6%, which is equal to 0 0.06. And we want to figure out the time when, in this case, the population doubles. So our A of T will be 100. Okay, well, let's see now. So we plug into our, for our formula. 100 is equal to 50 times 1 plus... 0 0.06 raised to t power. Now to solve for t, we are, first want to do is we'll probably divide both sides by 50. We don't multiply by 50 because it would we have to do the order operations first, and we don't know what t is, so we can't do that though. But the best thing to do is to isolate your your one plus your in this case your term has a t value, so one plus one plus 0 0.06 to t power. We we'll isolate that, so we'll divide both sides by 50. That means 2 is equal to 1.06 to t power. Well, we can kind of take this formula 
and then plug in values for it and see which one gives the closest to two. And so we'll take a look here. We have 1.06 to t power. So let's take a look at the calculator. So we'll take 1.06 and we're going to raise it to, we'll raise it to, well, let's see now. Now, the first choice we see is going to be 18. So let's plug in 18. 18. That's too much. So notice in this case, we want two, but this goes a little bit too high. So probably not 18. All right. So let's repeat the process. Repeat this again, 1.06 raised to, and our second choice was going to be six. Okay. So let's try six now. Six. That's too low. All right. So somewhere between six and 18. All right. So 1.06 raised to, and I think our third choice might have been 12. Let's double check to make sure. It is 12. We definitely know it's not 28. 20 is too big though. So we're hoping it's 12. So plug in 12, 2.012, that's very, very close to two. So we see in this case by, you know, trial and error, we have the we have a multiple choice and choice to choose from. We see, we try them out for our form and we get in this case, 12 will be the, will be the proper number of days. So we are, Go back to our questions here. It looks like T is equal, approximately equal to 12. So choice three, okay? Because in this case, 18 was too much, six was too low. And if 18 was too much, 28 would be way too much. Number three, if a radioactive substance is quickly decaying at a rate of 13% per hour, approximately how much of a 200 pound sample remains after one day. Okay, so again, our formula, A of T is equal to A sub zero times one plus R to the T power. So we see in this case, our starting value is gonna be 200 pound sample. So our A of zero, is equal to 200. Our R value is decaying at a rate of 13%. So R is equal to not positive 13%, but negative 13% because it's decaying, which is a decimal will be negative 0.13. That's what we're plugging for R. And finally, we're gonna be looking at this case since it's per hour, how it remains after one day. Our T value will be in this case, not one, but in this case, 24, because our units are hours. So now we plug in, we try to find A of 24. That's equal to the initial value of 200 times one plus, in this case, we have negative 0 0.13 raised to the 24th power. Okay. Now we could write down one plus negative, but it might be easier just put down one minus 0 0.13. And we will go to our, our calculator. Make sure you have the calculators with available. So it's question, a lot of these topics and questions with exponentials, we definitely need the calculator. So we're going to type in 200. 1 minus 0 0.13, the 13%. And we're going to raise this to the 24th power because that's how many time units is occurring. And we get, in this case, a value of 7.0711. So we have 7.0711. And so we go back to our questions. So... A of T, oops, A of T, A of 24 is approximately 7.071, which approximates to 7.1 pounds. And that would be choice one. Okay. The population of llamas stranded on Desert Island is decreasing due to a food shortage by 6% per year. Very much like before, decreasing by 6% per year. 
if the power started out at 350, how many are left of the island 10 years later? So this is our time. So again, we use our formula A of T is equal to A sub zero times one plus R raised to T power. And again, A of A sub zero is going to be our are, are going is going to be our starting value, our initial value. So a sub zero we're starting off with 350 llamas. Or well, llama. Uh, llama, llamas, okay. So we know in this case our rate is going to be negative six percent. Or in this case negative negative zero point zero six. And our T value to figure out how many years later is 10 years later. And we're using, in this case, units of per year. So we're going to plug in here, A of T or A of 10 is equal to A sub zero is 350, our starting value, times one. In this case, instead of plus, we're doing a plus negative, we're doing minus 0 0.06. And we're going to raise that to the power of 10. So we're really just plugging into our formula to be able to get these numbers here. All right, we have to figure out what values we're plugging in. We have to keep in mind that, you know, is our rate increasing or positive or negative based upon uh, whether we're increasing or decreasing. So let's go to our graphing calculator and type in 350, open parenthesis, 1 minus 0 0.06 close parenthesis, and we'll raise this to the 10th power to figure out approximately how many llama are there on the island. And in this case, we see that we go from 350 to about 188.515, which we might say about 188, 189. So, it, so we get in this case, 188, 0.515, which approximates to 189 llama, llamas, and that's going to be choice four. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is where we're going to stop for the end of part one of our home review for our exponential functions, lesson six, exponential modeling with percent growth and decay home review. I uh, hope this was helpful. We saw we used the, our general formula for each and every one of these problems, a of t equals a sub zero times one plus r raised to t power. All right, and so we just kind of from there trying to figure out what information we have and then fill out, fill, uh, figure out what we're missing, okay? If you found this video helpful, please, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave comments and questions in the comment section below. We we'll look forward to hearing any questions you have or thoughts about this material. Uh, look forward to talking to you later and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and be safe.